Just a little bit ago, we spoke with Josh Burkeen, one of the candidates in the running to win the nomination for Oklahoma's 2nd Congressional District. He'll face Avery Fricks in a runoff in August. Fricks is a member of the Choctaw Nation, a small business owner from Muskogee, and currently serves as a state representative of District 13 and is the chair of the Transportation Committee. Avery Fricks is joining us now live via Zoom to talk about his win and the next steps in this campaign. Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. It's great to be with you this morning. Uh, you mentioned your America First message, and you say that's resonated with voters. Can you talk more about that this morning? Yeah, you know, as we traveled all 28 counties, we shared that America First agenda, and it really resonated a lot with voters. You know, that's that's bringing manufacturing back here to the U.S. Uh, it's regaining our our energy independence. That's stopping this inflation that's caused by the Biden administration. It's bringing common sense conservative solutions back to D.C. That that boys use the boys' bathroom and girls use the girls' bathroom, and that biological men can't compete in girls' sports. Just those types of issues uh, have resonated so well all across the 28 counties, and we look forward to being able to continue that message in this runoff. Avery, it's been a tough two and a half years for all Americans with the pandemic, not getting any easier right now with inflation, especially for small business owners like yourself. What are your plans to address that? You know, we have to protect our, our small businesses. I'm a, I grew up in a small business family. I own a small business of my own. And that American dream that, that small businesses can achieve, we have to be able to, to protect that. And obviously during the, the pandemic and with the economy the way it is, it has really hurt our small businesses. And so we've got to get our economy back moving that will help in turn help our small businesses. And we have to cut those regulations that, that make it harder for small businesses to operate. And if we don't, we're going to continue down this, this socialism uh, path. That, that we're seeing right now coming out of D.C. Now, you're 28 years old, so a younger candidate, but you do hold an office position right now. How has that prepared you for going to Washington? Well, you know, I think that my experience serving in the state legislature for the last six years, as well as my small business experience, uh, growing up in a, in a small business, starting my own small business, running a, a family small business has, has really led me to, to see both sides of the coin. I've signed both sides of the paycheck, but I also know how, how to get things done and have been able to get some, some good conservative common sense uh, reform done here in, in Oklahoma. And so it's not just things that I talk about. I have a history of doing that. You're headed to the runoff in August. You'll go up against Josh Brakeen. Can you tell us what sets you apart from him? You know, I, again, we're, we are committed to sharing our, our America First agenda. There was a lot of great candidates in the race. It's honored. It's an honor to be here in, in the runoff. And, um, you know, my, my opponent's a, a good person as well. Um, but I think that our America First agenda message and our ability to work all 28 counties um, and continue that work as soon as we go to D.C. hopefully will set that apart for us for voters. Is there anything else that you'd like our viewers to know this morning about your race and your campaign moving forward? Just want to say thank you so much to all of our supporters all over the district for, for believing uh, in us and getting us here to the runoff and, and look forward to seeing everybody as we continue this next round. Avery, thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you.